everyone this is design wishes by Pamela and I'm here to show you how I created the petals on the graphic 45 imagine mixed-media canvas I posted a few days ago I've had a few inquiries so I thought it would be a good idea to post a quick video here's what the canvas looks like and so today I am going to show you how I made the cathedral circles using my silhouette software. Now there are, are a lot of people making the cathedral circle um, in paper. You can find them on Pinterest. This is just the way I did mine for the project and I'm sure you may have an even better way of doing it for you. So let's go ahead and get started. So I opened up my silhouette software and I went to my library and I first pulled some circles. And I used this circle nested file and I pulled out a circle that was smaller. I didn't want to use the, the larger ones. You, you can choose whichever one you'd like to use because you're going to resize it anyway. And then the other thing I pulled was the squares. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to find a square you want to use. And then I usually just get rid of what I don't need. Next, you're going to move your square inside your circle. Uh, but before I even go there... The other thing I did was I resized my circle to a two inch diameter because that's what I wanted to use. And then you're going to need to resize your square to fit inside your circle. Now something that's important and let me that I found for for me is and I'll zoom in a little bit here is you want to make sure your square is centered and you also want to make sure that the points of the square are very close to the outside or the inside part of the circle so that you get a nice crisp edge on your uh, cathedral circle. So the next thing you want to do is tell your software not to cut the line but to score the line and how I did it for my project is I highlighted the square. I went to my lines here in the software and let me zoom out. So I highlighted the square. I went to the lines um, dialog box and I changed the color and you can change it to whatever color you like. And then once you have the color changed, you want to tell the um, software to score that line. You don't want to uh, cut that line. You want to score that line. I also changed my ratchet blade uh, all the way down to a one. I'm, and you'll have to go to your machine to do this as well unless you have the auto blade and you want to do it that way. But you, you'll need to change the blade depth to one. And then I changed the speed to three. Once you've got all your settings in place, you want to go back to your design and then you want to group the whole thing together. So you just go to object, group, or right click and, and group. Once you have that set, and here's the one I have all set and ready to go, the one I actually use for the project here. You want to send this to your silhouette, um, your cameo or silhouette to uh, print, to cut. Now, obviously, I have it set for 12 by 12, but if you do, you want to set it to 8.5 by 11, and you want to mount your paper um, on the mat, and then you want to go ahead and position it and cut it. I'm not going to do that now because I actually have a sample to show you, and I'm going to pause a minute and get my sample out so I can show you.